Now in our previous video, we have created the database, we have created the categories and branch table and also we have connected to the database. Now in this we are going to see how to insert the categories inside the database. Okay, now this is my demo project. Now here I am having all these categories and whatever categories I will be inserting inside the database, that categories will be displayed here. Okay, in this section, this categories will be displayed. Okay, now you can see here I am having these fruits. Now again, if I just try to insert fruits, I will be getting this message. Okay, this category is already present in database and I can't add that one. Okay, if I insert another category, that will be displayed here. Now here I am not having, okay, let me just write here uh, steel. I will just insert category. You can see category has been added successfully. Okay. Now, if I just refresh this one. Now, here steel will be added. You can see now steel has been added here. Now, from here as of now, I am just going to remove that one. I will just click on view categories. And here also you can see steel has been added. I will just delete this category. Okay. I, as of now, I do not want that one. So, I am just going to remove that. Now, we are going to see how to insert these categories inside the database. And in this project, we have already created this one. Whenever I click on insert categories, I am getting this particular form. Now, inside this insert categories.php, we have already included this connect.php file. Let me just increase the size. Now, here inside this, now instead of this button, I just want input field. I will just remove this button. Now, I am just going to uncomment this one. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now, here I am having this button. Now from here, okay, this is basically an input field because here I have just given form control. I am just going to remove that. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now here I am having this button. Now for this, I am just going to give border to be 0 and also I am just going to give padding on all the four sides. I will refresh this. Now here I am having this button. If you want, you can give margin as well. I will just give the margin. I will refresh. Now here I am having this proper button. Now here I have to insert the data and whenever I click on this insert categories button, the data should be inserted inside the table. Okay, we have already included this connect.php file. Now here I am just going to check for the condition. Okay, if is set, here I will be writing post method because inside input fields, okay, because here we are passing this form using this post method. So here I am just writing post method and inside this whatever value we are having for this input field that is nothing but my button whatever value i'm having inside name attribute i'm just going to copy that one and inside this i'm just going to paste i'm just telling that whenever i click on that button only then the product should be inserted inside the database okay basically that is the categories only when i click on the button whatever value i'm having inside input field okay, let me just come here whatever value i have written here only when I click on this button, this data should be inserted inside the database. So here I am just telling if this particular button is set, only then I have to insert. Now inside this, first I have to access this value. Okay, whatever value I have written here, this value I have to access. So for that, I am just going to create one variable. I will just write here category uh, title. Using post method, I am just going to access that value. And to access that value, Inside this input field, we have given here cat title. I will just paste that one here. Okay, this cat title is basically I am just accessing the value. Whatever I have written here, I am just accessing that value using this, using this post method. I am storing inside this variable. Now, next I am just going to insert the data. Now, I have this title. I have to insert the data inside the database. Now, here I will be writing insert query. Here first I am just going to write this double quotes. I will just close using semicolon. Inside this I am just going to write insert. Okay, this is the insert query. Insert into table name. I want to insert the categories inside categories table. And inside this parenthesis I am just going to write the column name. Okay, whatever column name I am having inside the database table. I should be writing the exact column name. Okay, okay let me just come here. Now inside categories table, I am having here. Now inside categories table, I am having category title. Okay, this particular column we have to write here. Okay, you should not close inside single quotes or double quotes. Directly you just have to write the column name. Then I am just going to write here values. Inside this I have to pass the value. Okay, what value I have to pass. 
okay this particular value whatever i am inserting here that value i have to pass inside the database and that value is stored okay we have access the value and that value is stored inside this variable i'll copy this one now this is the value and the data type of category title is var car so we have to wrap inside single quotes or double quotes okay now here i have already used double quotes so inside this i'm just using here single quotes i'll just close that okay this is the insert query we have to write let me just write here insert now once we are done with this we have to execute this query so here i'll be writing result and inside this i'm just going to write my sql i query my sql i query and this is going to take two parameters first is our connection variable okay this connection variable we have already created inside connect.php file and this particular file we have already included here and second is this variable okay wherever we have written the query we have to pass that one here now below this i am just going to check for the condition if my query is executed successfully then i should be displaying some message i'll just write here echo now inside this i am just going to write here script tag okay this is the basic concept of javascript we are going to use inside this project now inside this let me just write here script inside this i'm just going to write here alert okay this is also a part of javascript and inside this i'm just going to write the message as category has been category has been inserted successfully inserted successfully i'll save this now let me just check for the output i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now here i'll just select fruits insert categories categories has been inserted successfully okay i'll come to database i'll refresh this one now this category whatever i have inserted that has inserted inside the database as well you can see this has been inserted inside the database now here we are having one problem now again if i insert fruits insert you can see again the fruit will be inserted now if i just come to database fruit again fruit i am having you can see again i am having this fruit i don't want this to happen okay again and again i can't insert the two categories so for that we are just going to write another query here now here below this i'm just going to write query to select the data from the database select data from database below this i'll be writing query i'll just write here select query and here i'll be writing this select select star from table name my table name is categories okay what i am doing here is i am just selecting all the data from the categories and here i am just going to write the condition where my category title okay this is the column name okay whatever i am writing here that is the column name let me just copy this column name i'll just come to structure and from here i am just going to copy this column name where my category title where my category title is equal to this value okay whatever we are entering inside input field i'm just going to check for that one okay i'm selecting that particular field from the database now suppose inside my database now you can see inside this database i'm having two times okay fruits i'm having two times so here it is going to match again if i just write here categories again if i write here fruits now what it is going to do is it is going to match with the database values now here i am having two times fruits so it is going to select two columns here okay now let me just execute the query to execute that one i am just going to write the same thing instead of this i'll be writing here result select and here i'll just copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one now if i get any value okay if this is getting matched whatever value i have entered inside the input field if that values are present inside the database it is going to fetch all the records now i have to count how many records are having that value so here i'll be writing number and inside this using my sql i num rows okay this method is going to get the number of rows of that particular result inside this we have to pass this one i'll just copy this and here i'm just going to paste that one and here i'll just write here number okay if i am getting some result from the database which means that this value is already present inside the database so what i'm going to do is here i'm just going to check the condition if my number of rows if it is greater than 0 
which means that the data is already present inside the database. Now here I am just going to copy this, here I will just paste that one. Now here I am just going to write the comment, I will just write here, this category is present inside the database. This category is present inside the database. Okay, this category, let me just write that one, this category, this category is present inside the database, I will save this, I will just come here, I will refresh this one. Now again if I just try to insert fruits, now this value and whatever values I am having inside the database that is going to be matched and these two rows will be fetched. After getting these two rows, I am just counting the number of rows fetched. Okay, now here I am having two rows, so it will just check the condition. If my number of rows is greater than 0, which means that this value is already present inside the database and this alert should be printed for me. Else we have to write here else. If it is not present, if it is less than 0, then inside this else we have to insert. I will just close that else here. Okay, this is how we are going to insert. First, we are just checking the condition. If this category is present, then this message should be displayed. Else means this category is not present inside the database. Now, let me just come here. Now, if I just click on insert, you can see this category is present inside the database. It will not allow me to insert the category. I will just click on OK. Now, here, let me just write here juices. I will just click on insert. Now, you can see category has been inserted successfully because juice is not present inside the database only fruits were present so i'll be getting this message i'll just click on ok now here inside the database i'm having two times okay two times i'm having this fruits so i'll just come to operations and from here i'm just going to empty the table i'm directly not deleting from there because i will be getting the id numbers from four so i'm just deleting from here and i'm just going to empty the table now let me just come here now here I will be inserting the categories fruits, category has been inserted successfully. Now you can see it will be inserted juices, insert categories, category has been added, vegetable, insert categories. Now inside the database also these categories will be added. You can see inside the database, let me just come to browse, you can see these three categories has been added. Now again if I just try to insert vegetables, this vegetable is already present inside the database. Now it is going to select this row and it will count. Now this, okay now here I am having one row as my result. Now this is greater than 0, so I will be getting this category is already present. You can see this category is already present inside the database and only one time I am having this vegetable. Again that vegetable will not be inserted inside the database. Okay, this is how we are going to write the query. We have just written so much. Let me just come here. Okay, this is the basic PHP code we have written. We have just included the connect.php file. We are just checking the condition. If my button is clicked, only then I am accessing this value. Okay, input value I am accessing. I am storing inside this variable. Next, I am just inserting. I have just written the insert query. And here after inserting, I am just checking the condition. Okay, that is I am selecting all the data from the database. If whatever column name I am having, if that is matching with my input field, I am just executing that query. Okay, I am getting all the results from there and here I am just counting the number of rows. Okay, if my number of row is greater than 0, which means that category is already present and I should be getting this message. This category is present inside the database. Else, I should be inserting the categories inside the table. Okay, that is database table. Now, this we have done for the categories. In the same way, we will be doing for brands.